They've been flying high all year, and yesterday came touchdown. This was the precise moment league title number 47 was landed, and in truth, it had been a smooth ride at the Oval, where Oren Kearney opened the scoring from the penalty spot. This would give the league leaders a real boost. It's 1-0. And just beyond the R mark, one became two. Thompson. Oh, it's Dixon. It's 2-0. Dixon's goal had effectively docked the Gibson Cup, and in a tale of one city but two tribes, the boys in blue had plundered the ultimate prize. Glentoran did eventually find a way through from the head of Gary Hamilton, but the day and the title belonged to Linfield. The one blemish on an otherwise perfect afternoon, the actions of a mindless few who, after the game, threw plastic bottles at David Jeffrey. They're just idiots. They're not even football supporters. And I'll tell you what, Jackie, they're not even Glen Torn supporters. Two Glen Torn supporters are the people on that stand. And they were uh, absolutely very generous, tremendous. And you just let wasters like that, you just ignore them. But what you can't ignore is the manager's capacity to motivate. That's the fifth time he steered Linfield to league success. And you can't help but feel that this particular journey has still a few more miles to go. Mark Sidebottom, BBC Newsline, All the East Belfast. The were there for Saturday's dramatic climax to the Premier League. A sellout crowd creating a great atmosphere, perfect conditions at the Oval, and two teams who knew it was make or break time. Linfield struck first thanks to a handball decision and a confidently struck penalty from Oren Kearney. And then in the second half, postman Mark Dixon delivered the goal, which finally clinched the points and the title. But celebrations have to wait. Linfield are back at the Oval tomorrow night, hoping to maintain their very good record in the Satanta Cup. There's not much time for the, you know, think about Saturday. Um, well, I'm starting to prepare for tomorrow night, last game, group game in the Satanta, so we're looking forward to that now. And of course, you've had a great run in the Satanta so far this season. You want to keep that going? Um, yes, we're undefeated, so we are. So we're looking to keep that record intact. And you know, it's going to be another tough game. Glenthorne will be coming out and looking to improve from Saturday. Although Gary Hamilton did get a goal back for Glen Torren, it wasn't enough to stop the Blues' surge towards the title. And for the man who lives in the shadow of Windsor Park, scoring what turned out to be the winning goal was a very special moment. Um, yeah, it was unbelievable. So it was, you know, it was probably the most enjoyable goal I've scored in my career. So I was delighted to us. And Oren Kearney, of course, putting away the, the penalty. He's, uh, he's really very confident when he strides up to the spot. Man. Um, yeah, it looks like it, you know. I'm sure he was nervous, you know taking the penalty in front of the Glen Thorne fans, so I'm sure he had nerves deep down inside, but he remained calm and stuck it away nicely. At the end of the match, there was a lot of relief there. There was a lot of pressure going into it. It was being built up in the media, and you know, when, we were just glad to get the win at the end of the day, and there were three points. With the league now as good as in the bag, Mark Dixon is hoping Linfield can go on to stamp their authority on the Satanta Cup and Irish Cup finals. Um, there's a semi-final first, you know, with the play distillery and they've already beaten us here actually in the semi-final, so uh, we know that's going to be a tough game and we'll have to, you know, when that comes around we'll focus on that. So a little bit of time to wait before the celebrations start for real then? Um, yeah, you know, hopefully we'll, we'll have another two semi-finals to come, so, you know, who knows what can happen after that.